Okay, we're back, guys. We've got another whiskey review. Second review on uh, Fuck of Lee Day, where uh, every fucking truck and plane and uh, helicopter and motorcycle and um, marching band and fucking death metal band playing in my backyard could fucking possibly happen. Probably an earthquake and a typhoon will happen as well. Anything to stop me from getting uh, good sound on my fucking video. So, uh, fuck you world. But, uh, we're doing another whiskey review, and this is one right here from Nova Scotia. This is Glen Evan. Okay. It's, it's called Double Barreled Canadian Rye Whiskey. Uh, and this is from the people at Authentic Seacoast. Now, if you've seen my reviews of their Rare Bird line of beers, I'm not the biggest fan of Authentic Seacoast as far as their beer goes. Um, they put out bullshit batches that aren't good. Um, I'm kind of expecting this to be way better though. You can kind of get away in the beer world with making fucky batches of beer and most people won't complain, especially in uh, smaller markets like here where craft beer is not necessarily, uh, or at least when they started craft beer wasn't necessarily everywhere. Um, so you know, but when it comes to whiskey, you've got to kind of have better quality control uh, because you only have, you have to wait so many years even to make your first fucking batch and get it right. And you just can't afford to fuck around and have it be bad. So um, I'm kind of expecting higher quality here. Uh, so dark mature, oak matured, craft blended and bottled by Authentic Seacoast Distilling Company Limited in Guysboro, Nova Scotia. 43% alcohol by volume. So it is 86 proof, a little under cast strength, and the dog threw her ball. Way the fuck over there. Okay. Other notes. I do my research, folks. So their website doesn't really tell you a lot. Fuck you, you fucking prick. Get your fucking truck out of here. Fuckers. Alright. So their website, like a lot of web whiskey and beer websites, they don't tell you shit about their product, really. They just tell you how handcrafted it is and how fucking special it is and how it's born in the family and la 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 la. Like they have this line about uh, it being prairie grain and but... Uh, matured here in Nova Scotia by the sea to give it a maritime character and how it brings the two sides of Canada together and all this fucking uh, horse shit that looks good on an ad print, you know. Um, but yeah, I don't know what this double barreled thing is. They don't say if it's any sort of special process or anything like that. They just say it's oak matured, white oak, charred white oak. Um, don't know how many years. I'm assuming it's only got to be about three years. Um, unless they had this in place, uh, well before they released this stuff, because they've only been around for about three years or so, at the most, as far as I can tell. So, they also do their Sea Fever rum. I've never had that. Uh, it, was, it looked a little too expensive to pick it up. Um, the price, $44.99 for 750 milliliters of this stuff. Uh, that looked a bit more agreeable to me. I was like, would I pay that much for rum? Probably not, unless I had the extra money. Whiskey? Yeah, I'd give it a shot any day of the week. Um, so yeah, uh, so like I said, grain is all from the Prairie Provinces, and it's matured here. I don't know how much percentage rye is in this. Uh, they don't go into specific specifics there. And I'm not savvy enough to talk to a marketing person for to get the information or whatever, so uh, I don't really care to do that stuff. I don't really like the idea of having connections in the Maritimes for beer and whiskey. I'm not a very personable person. So, yeah. I just want to drink the stuff and tell you what I think about it. That's basically it. So you see, it's pretty dark. Pretty damn dark. So... I wonder if there's any coloring going on in there, or if it's really been sitting in some barrels for a few years. Like, 
they're saying double barreled, so it made me think that maybe they were using two different barrels here, like two different kinds of barrels, like maybe one was a sherry cask or something, because that would go a long way to explain why the color is that dark on this. But they don't say on their website, as far as I can tell, and I didn't see it in any of their press releases. I just saw how awesome their stuff was, and how the distillery was named after uh, Glenn Williams and his son Evan, so Glenn Evan. Um, yeah, Glenn yeah. Evans, Glenn Evan, whatever. Uh, that's fine, that's cute. Let's go to the aroma. Hmm. You're definitely getting the rye. Uh, that rye is there. A uh, nice little slight spicy kick in the aroma. Picking up some wood character. A little bit of honey. But yeah, mostly that rye grain smells very good. A little bit of caramel in there. Color, yeah. Pretty dark, man. Seen if I was going to pick up any sherry notes. I mean, that would give me a clue to, as to why this would be so dark, but uh, I'm not getting any of that. Hmm. Smells really good. It smells really, really good. It's not a big rye punch or anything either. It's just nice, mild. Um, yeah. Cheers. We'll go right to the taste. good. Starts off with a kind of a sweet, sweet uh, delivery. A little bit of apple, uh, a little bit of honey, and then it jumps right into that rye. Uh, very good spice in the back. Dry wood on the sides of the tongue. It's not super complex or anything, but it's got a very good rye character to it. It's very, very nice. Good body to it as well. Fairly medium body. What you doing there, Princess? Where'd your ball go? Oh, I see it's over there. You're not getting another treat yet. You just had two in the last hour. She did. You're going to become a really fat dog. You're going to be a very fat dog. All those treats you were getting while you were getting your medicine. Remember that? we got to run those pounds off before winter comes. Yes, we do. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. You're taking your life in your own fucking hands there, you know. Yes, i got an audience here. There's a little squirrel right over there. Or is it a chipmunk? Let's see if I can... No, it took it off. Oh well. Yeah, um... You know, Rye character is very good in this. Uh, they as well, like the Liquormans, they have a bunch of drink recipes on their uh, website. I think that's pretty much standard with just about any whiskey company. They do that for uh, the more general public, you know, the left. What? Well, oh, boy. You just wait a couple minutes, and we'll throw the ball. We've we got hours out here, you know. Yes, we do. Are you going to make everyone think I abuse you or something? Eh? Yeah, it's very good. It, it, it's not super complex or anything like that. It's not, um... It, like, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have the complexity of, like, uh... The, the Crown Royal Harvest or the Canadian Club 100% rye. But what it lacks in that, it makes up with kind of rye punch. 
this a nice little bit of smack of rye spice. And even then it's not big, but it's really satisfying. Nice kind of spicy burn in the end. Subtle wood character lingers very, very well. Yeah, I like this a lot, man. I really like this. Um, I think maybe the only major negative here is the price point is a little higher. It is a craft distillery, so you're kind of expecting the prices to be a bit higher. Um, that might be a, enough to dissuade some casual uh, whiskey drinkers just looking for a good rye whiskey. Uh, they might be better suited to get Canadian Club 100% or Crown Royal Harvest. Um, but if you get the extra money to spend and you can find this, I think it's only available in the Maritime Provinces at the moment, and maybe even just Nova Scotia, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is actually really good. Um, I personally wouldn't mix it with anything, but I can see how it could be mixed because it's very much just the rye, more than anything else. Uh, not a lot of complexity, like I said, so you would be mixing this in a drink to get that little bit of rye kick as well added to your drink. Maybe you're making some sort of spicy kind of cocktail of some sort. Um, that'd be just a little booster for you, and of course it'd boost up the alcohol as well. Um, I would really like to see this cast strength. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'd, I'd like to see this at 46 or above. Um, that might really bring out some complexity and some interesting flavors. But as it sits, the Glen Evan Double Barreled Canadian Rye Whiskey. You know, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go A-. minus. Fuck it. I'm gonna go A-. minus. That's really good stuff. I like it. I will buy again. Even at that price point, I will buy again. This might be my new go-to rye, honestly. Um, because I think maybe one of my biggest complaints with uh, some of the other ryes out there, like the Canadian Club and the Crown Royal, is maybe they had too many other flavors going on that I wasn't a big f fan of, like the lighter fruit stuff. Here I'm basically just getting the rye, and uh, that's what I want, maybe. So, uh, cheers. A- minus for that. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.